What's going on guys, Siobhan here back with another video and this video is going to be a short one because today we have the Pixel 6, we have it early thanks to Google and TELUS, so you know what that means, I can't really show you guys anything until because I signed an embargo agreement, so the only thing I could show you is just the unboxing, the hardware, tell you guys how it feels, what it looks like, I mean I could have just unboxed it, went to my bed, used the phone on a regular, but I wanted to show you guys wanted to share the experience, document the experience, especially coming from an Apple fanboy. You know, I've been using the 13 Pro since it has been released. So I want to feel this device. It's the Pixel 6, comes in at $599. The color option that I have right here is called Namely Black. It also comes in, I think, two other colorways. The only thing I know so far is that this camera bump looks crazy. Google's calling it the camera bar and it has a 50 megapixel camera so let's unbox it oh so we actually get the device first off it's weird how we could see marks on it but there it is the pixel 6 the black i'm not really a big fan of the black you see me wearing black I, i'm like blacked out for the theme so we get inside a usb-c to usb-c charging cable we don't get a power brick actually we also have this dongle right here or adapter so this is a usb c to usb a female so if you want to use this to transfer data or anything like that yo everyone's just going small on the boxes this year that's it for the box that's literally all you get we have the small paperwork so here's the device wow it feels it feels really nice for 599 dollars Ooh, I could actually see the bezels around this display. So the back feels like glass for sure. If it's plastic, that's crazy how they did that. But right now it feels like glass. Around the sides, it feels like aluminum, you know? Buttons are very tactile. Wait, that's kind of weird. Have, is this the volume button or the power? That's the vo no way yeah they don't have any volume buttons on this side that's strange i've never seen that before there's another downfall with not really a downfall but it's 599 right so the screen is an adaptive refresh rate of 10 hertz up to 90 hertz refresh rate compared to the iphone 13 pro over here that's rocking ace yeah i could 120 hertz love to see it if you want to get 120 oh the vibration motors feel so good oh when the animation hits it likes vi it vibrates all right that's interesting so the camera bump uh i like it it kind of you know separates itself just looking at this device you're like yo that's the pixel 6 you know what i mean they could have done something generic and went for like a oneplus layout or something like that you know what i'm saying but this definitely it stands out I like it. Now in terms of how it feels, obviously the iPhone costs way more. The iPhone feels more premium in the hand, of course. So we get two cameras. I guess this is a wide and an ultra wide. We don't get the telephoto with the Pixel 6, which is kind of unfortunate. I kind of like it. We have a huge flash though. Man, just make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because I will be doing camera comparisons between the Pixel 6 and also the iPhone 13. And I will be doing a day in the life with the Pixel 6 going through my entire day to see how the battery life is because I've heard the battery is really good on this thing but yeah I'm just gonna breeze through the setup process guys I know it has a fingerprint scanner built in um connect to a mobile network let me skip that for now I actually do have my sim card Slap that in boom copy apps and data should we do that oh it worked copy data to your new phone copy I'm sure you guys could see this that's pretty cool I've never done this before oh sick so it literally just transfers everything over to my P Pixel 6. I think the fingerprint is in a good spot. Could get used to that. So now we're ready to use our device. Swipe to go home. Boom. There we go. Oh, it transferred everything. And I think the, the colors work based on your wallpaper. By the way, guys, this wallpaper is from my wallpaper pack. Let me try to turn the brightness up. Is that a max brightness? No way, that's the max brightness. I think it could be a little bit bright. It's not bad. 
it already feels warm though why does it feel so warm so yeah there's not much i could show you guys like we can't use the cameras um they didn't say anything about the speakers Yo, those speakers are loud. Holy. So I guess it has one stereo speakers. It has one up the earpiece up here. It has a, actually a large freaking speaker up here. And then one down at the bottom. And I guess the other side is for the microphone. So it's a bit taller than the iPhone. You get a, you get a little bit more screen real estate on the height side of things. And as I said before, this is $5.99. Crazy. So a little bit more about the specs and stuff. You could get these in different storage options, 128 gigs or 256 gigs, and it also comes with eight gigs of RAM. I'm interested to try it out to see how it works on a daily basis because eight gigs of RAM isn't a lot, but for a phone, I think it's pretty decent, especially one that's really optimized as much as Google and their new Tensor chip that they have inside, which they're really proud of. I definitely could feel the fluidity of the screen as well. I know it's 90 Hertz, but way 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 smoother than something like the iphone 13 that only has 60 hertz refresh rate now in terms of the cameras around the back as i said before i can't show you any pictures but we have brand new 50 megapixel sensors that i told you guys about already so 50 megapixel for the main camera and a 12 megapixel for the ultra wide and also at the front we have a 12 megapixel with a 90 degree field of view and of course google has a lot of things baked into the tensor chip and like the software so the camera features are insane you're going to get really good night photography you have um ai mode they really focus on their confrontation of photography so if you're taking pictures and like someone's walking in the background ai can automatically detect that and remove it for you so all those stuff i will be testing and trying guys so if you don't want to miss all that make sure you subscribe but yeah that was my first impressions um as an iphone user really hyped to use this i actually love how it looks aesthetically it looks really good this black it has like a um i don't know what to call this type of black but it's kind of a dark gray and then the camera hub is that's what they're calling it the camera bar is like actually black so overall really excited to test this device out if you have any questions for me guys what what do you want me to test let me know down below in the comments as always love peace and tweaks signing out